Hey guys, welcome to Farm Simulator again. So the second time me getting this right, I've had a couple of issues. Uh, one of which was I didn't think I was recording, and I was. So that footage went down the shitter. So we're on this map, my single player world. Finishing up this, and uh, as soon as I believe I'll need to fertilize, I'm not 100%, though I will check. Uh, we should be good to go. Cause that field's done, and this is the only other fields I have. 16 and 17 here. Then we'll start harvesting. Um, I was gonna say yesterday's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. A little something different. I don't think anyone's ever done like a multiplayer mod review like that. So hopefully, we guys can get together and uh, we can do that now and again. Me, Raven. Recon deputy, vice versa, whoever. Kind of cool, different aspect. Still haven't reformatted. Um, using this external hard drive, and you know, honestly, it's working. So reformatting it is the last resort. I uh, kind of really don't want to be doing it. I will if needs be. But right now, I'm thinking I won't. We shall see. Still on the cards, though. Uh, another thing is, if anyone's on my Facebook fan page, they would have seen my computer build that I will be building once I get back to the UK. If anyone's interested in what the new specs for my computer are going to be and the site I get it from, go to the fan page. It link's going to be in there. Do this patch to make another run down, get that, and we should be good to go. Updated course play too for the development version. Speaking of updates, uh, Farm Sim on Steam had a 10 megabyte update. Now, does anyone know what it is? At the time I'm recording this video, uh, I've probably already found out possibly by then, but if you guys know, let me know. Right now, I'm see up in the time there. I'm recording this on uh, seven minutes past three in the afternoon, earlier than I usually do. I hope just to get this rendered and uploaded for tonight. And that little line, I wasn't going to fix it, but. More as well. Realism at its finest. Not. Most of the time I like to do it realistic, but when it misses, or I miss a little bit like this, screw it. I'm pretty sure I've done that one, because I use that little guy. Oh no, I haven't fertilized that one yet. Oh dear. We'll get to that in a minute. That won't take long, it's only a small field. Not sure what the next field is I'm going to buy on this one. This guy. Oh, yeah, you can see where I didn't. Uh, it stopped. So, fish fertilizing this. I do want to get this harvested today in this video. And then uh, rinse and repeat.
But then I think we should be good to get some silage done. More of it grass and grass silage anyway. Could even buy actually a field that's got corn in it already. After this harvest maybe. Maybe do that. That'd make for a good video actually I think. I think the majority of you would enjoy that. I still don't know what to do about that tree. Whether to leave it in or nuke it. Probably keep it in there in all honesty. Start aiming to go around it. This is the only annoying thing, and stuff does get caught on it, but. Sometimes I know you guys over in Canada and North America won't agree with this, possibly, but. Over here, sometimes, there is a tree in the middle of the field, and I think majority of the time what I've seen, sort of, fields local to me, they leave them in there. It is. I don't mind leaving a little bit. Hmm. I'm just. Well, I'm gonna keep nothing in it. Be cool if you could like, raise one side or fo start folding one side a bit. Go up this side and we should be done. Yeah, it's just something I wanted to try though. There was a mod released on FSUK that's this sprayer, but it's just re been reskinned, and the maker says they've worked extensively in the cab. Now, the only two things I've seen that have changed well, one actually, well, technically two that GPS screen looks different, it's a different color. That's why I was looking around, and uh, not I've deleted it now, but I'm pretty sure that was it. So much overspray. The way we're going, we could even run out before we get to the bottom. No, no. Yeah. And we've got to go refill to do that overfield. I forgot. That little patch I ain't worrying about Whoa. on the bricks. Now there is a cornfield around here. I can't remember which one it is, but we will buy it and we will do some corn silage because it'll be more profitable. I don't think we have a plant, that's why I'm saying about not doing it yet. I would have to double check what we have in our arsenal. Um, MB Modern released their river. Bale trailer this weekend as well. It was uh, Sunday they released that. May not do a mod review on it, and honestly, I don't know if there'll be any need. 
I'm probably going to be replacing this one over there for uh, the new one though because it does hold a lot more and it's extremely nice uh, I know uh, Rubber Side Down Recon's mentioned it in the past but must be very good barons on these actually happen to remember where I put this. It's been that long. I've spent a lot of time on the multiplayer server. But again, just so people know and are aware. And don't expect it to be uh, on when they come on the team speak. It is the team speak the team speak, you know, the multiplayer farm sim dedicated server is Mainly for me and my friends to play on together. Me and Recon had this thing that we've wanted to do on the the uh, farm sim servers, dedicated server, for a long time. So that's what we're doing. Will I open it to you guys at some point now and again, like I have been saying? Yes. When? I do not know. We're uh, right now enjoying it. I don't know why, but. If I hold the left bumper, I can't move on the joystick. I know that used to be a thing in the vehicles. I wonder if it was MB's trailer that's played with stuff like that. The trailer wasn't so expensive, and it's not really expensive, but I really want to save the money. I'd show you it. But I can show you in here, I guess. Hey, brands. Where's Berlin? There it is. Good try, real nice trailer. Actually, how much? Thinking about it, how much is the other one? Because I could possibly go sell that. Garage, roughly, what would I? Only 9k from that. Damn, not much. We'll still trade it in, though. Fill this. So MB Modern still keep teasing with the release of the Unimog. It's probably a lot of you that don't understand why I love that machine so much, but trust me, once the mod comes out and I do a mod review on it, that will probably be a two-parter. Sort of just include it all in one video, so it may be a lengthy one, but you'll understand because there is a lot of features in that little guy. There always has been and probably always will be. And MB Modern being the team they are, they never disappoint. I've not once come back sort of from downloading one of their mods going, you know, this thing's real crap. <laughs> not once. It's almost like Egos. Ego stuff's great. All honestly, I prefer BM Modern over Ego stuff. They don't do many tractors. That's the only downside where Ego does. So the only real tractor BM Modern came out with was the Unimog. Well, that's the thing, I don't know if the Unimog would be classed as a tractor or what, because it's like... Me and Pyro were on about it yesterday, because I was explaining it to him. It's, it's like, it's part pickup, part tractor. It's a utility vehicle, really. You don't own this field. Yeah, I do. Really got to be precise with this. If Sam's watching, he's probably wondering why not use the GPS mod. I think actually, in all honesty, I could even set up calls by. But for what? How many passes this field will need? Only a couple. I'm not worth it. So as soon as I've done this, I shall fast time, and uh, we can get harvesting. Uh, 
Looks like I missed a swipe there. And there. Trick six. Thought I got most of it. Just actually one in a little bit of a pass. Just where I was following the contour of the field there. Reverse down there. Partly probably on that line end. Spray and we should be golden. Not doing what I said I was going to do, but. This will work as well. Oh, I thought it was going to yell at me. You don't own this field, you cannot spray. So I was looking in the logs of the TeamSpeak, and I actually mentioned about TeamSpeak a minute ago. And I've seen actually quite a few people on there that I recognize from Steam that have been on there. A lot of you are probably different time zones where. I've not caught you on, and nobody on sort of admin wise moderator has uh, caught you on. Unfortunately, and there's a couple of names, uh, one especially that I do definitely recognise that I know. I'm pretty sure is from Australia. So unfortunately, people like that, and I'm surprised we've got a following in Australia. You're never going to catch me. You very, very rarely catch me online. And if you do, it's like right at the end where I'm thinking, yeah, I should go to bed. Stayed up later than I was expecting talking to one lad from Australia last night. Last night? No. A couple of days ago now. I think it may have been on Friday or Saturday. But I was beat. I was absolutely beat by the end of that. Now, as long as they've been that long, I cannot remember where I was keeping this guy. Oh, I know. It's 22 minutes past three and I'm yawning my head off. Oh, what the hell. So there's a map on FSUK that caught my eye. Not, uh, was it FSUK? No, it was Modhoster, sorry, called Big Map. I downloaded it. Um, mainly because some of the screenshots, I recognised some of the stuff from this map. And this map's hands down one of my favourite ones out there right now. I downloaded it, checked it out. Unfortunately, it's just... You should have realised by the name of the title, Big Map. It's huge fields. And it starts you off with like 13 wind farms, 10 or so beehives. You can make money off that without even farming. It's like, unfortunately, not the map for me. I really can't stand big, stupid maps with big, stupidly fields like 30. Field 30. Uh, right now, I'm pointing at the computer screen. That field's huge. What am I actually going over there and checking that out? That's probably almost a million bucks right there. To buy that thing. Well. Fast time it naturally looked per se. Instead of doing that stupidly fast. We'll leave this guy running. We'll take the C10 over. That I need to update uh, the guy that made him. Is it did an update on him. So I need to update it. Change the driving characteristics, so I'll check them out. Probably not do a mod review on him. As I've already done him, done it once. Although I may, because I did do a mod review on him in the first place. As you can see, this thing's almost undrivable sometimes. But like I said, it's not the updated version. So where are we going? We are going down to field 30. I want to actually see how big that field is. Attempt 
turn my headset. The droning noise is getting to me. Oh, going the right speed. Got the right way, should I say. I think that's Field 30 just coming up on the edge right in front of us now. It is too. And that's the sound. Goodbye. Biggest field on the map right here. And just look at that. Wow, that's huge. I've never actually seen this map. 500. 19 hectare. Wow. It's not bad actually. Yeah. At some point. When we get that field, we won't really need to buy anymore. Oh, we never first time to do This thing really doesn't go that fast, but normally it doesn't need to be. Down here, twenty minutes. Probably get some of the stuff harvested, not all of it. Post box. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Need to update this one. He's got. I think he's got an update actually out for all of the stuff they released. It's all pretty much very similar. Changes. Let's window down. Maybe you can't do the windows in this one. I can't remember. So, how are we going? Yeah, now let's give it a helping hand. And we're good. <laughs> that's pretty much real time too. Ha! <laughs> uh, that's funny how it works out. Yeah, we didn't know we had an attic space. Oh, there is too. The funny thing is, really, you can't see anything at the... Ah, uh, combine. Well, wow. the secret, secret thing that I've not been showing you guys for a while in here, and you, some of you haven't noticed because you've definitely not mentioned it in the comments, but uh, we'll go do it now. It's not the way I wanted to do it, but with the multiplayer server, I never get really a chance to play on this one too much now because I'm enjoying the multiplayer too much. Yes, this is the tow chain. People I swear I've seen a comment or two saying about the tow chain. I've had it since it released. And I have used it quite 
a little bit kind of off camera and no one's seen it. It's a good mod, it works well. We're on a rescue mission right now. So we got word that uh, there's a hidden combine on this map. That works. So we're gonna go try and see if we can rescue it, bring it back, possibly give it a little bit of grease, a little bit of diesel. And uh, see if we can get it going, possibly do a little harvest in the small field with it. For this video maybe. So we'll take a little trip. We've got our invisible buddy running in the jump seat because we'll need someone controlling the com uh, driving the tractor back. And we'll be driving the uh, combine. So gotta remember where it is. It's down here. I remember him saying go past the uh, place here. It's past the silage uh, the grass and silage field over here. Or well, just before the entrance, shall I say. It's down here maybe? Whoa! Wow! Once we get this on tape, we won't need to stop. So, take that. Hmm. Does so anything about combines? Roads are rather tight, though. Oh, there's something there. There is definitely something up there. Oh, would you look at that. So those pictures put up on Facebook on the fan page were true. There's a hidden combine. The board's still looking in good condition. A little rusty here and there, scraped up. Should be able to pull it out. May have to do a bit of tree chopping. Goodness how they managed to get it in there. Can't come out this way, looks like we have a fence along there, so we'll just jump into the tractor again. And how about that? Unfortunately, we're probably going to have to turn backwards, so it's going to be an interesting tow. We can get the chain hooked up. Problem is, I've actually forgotten what key it is. And we have a uh, have it hooked, so we'll start locking the differentials.
Let's see if we have steer on us some sorts. Looks like we do. Mystery. I wonder if it will start. Oh, oh. Possibly. Someone must have a little pony engine. Can lift the header. Yep, we have hydraulic power. Should be okay now. Just able to drive straight out. Looks like. So we'll set our buddy up in the John Deere here. Just be a backwards drive. Kill the engine. We don't know how good it is right now, so don't want to hurt it too much. Let's investigate this thing. 
we're not on the main road, it's the... The arm comes out, a little squeaky, so get some penetrating oil or WD-40 in there. Even a new look of paint at some point. I don't know really what brand this is. Some Russian thing that's found its way over here? Who knows? Green tank. Don't know how big that is. Definitely needs some work there. Sign. It's got some working lines, surprising. Uh, but they're old. So guys, this is the video I have planned. Quite a while. Now if I jump out of it, the tow chain unfortunately. Usually the wheels will lock up. If you stay in it and use course plate, you get something pretty good. Uh, the only reason I've pulled this guy out right now is I want to try it, I want to actually give it a go. And of course the engine that you do here, that is what is called a pony engine, that could possibly be it there. Basically a pony engine is a small two stroke, possibly a four, I'm not 100%, but a small engine that acts as a starter motor for a big diesels. I'm not sure but I want to say the exhaust gases do go through the, the uh, intakes on the diesel engine and warm up the cylinder as well so it starts easier not really sure on that so it sounds like people are shoveling outside probably time for me to end the video we'll get back bring us to the farm we'll have some fun with it in the next video that I do on the server well server the uh, single player so guys as I steer this back because really you do need to steer these when you start turning stuff I hope you guys enjoyed and as always I'll catch you in the next video whenever the next video will be and whatever the next video will be so for now catch you guys later see ya